ever get that feeling like when a song just eats you right you know oh yeah totally it gives you chills sometimes exactly well today we're going deep like deep dive yeah into why music matters so much way beyond it sounds nice okay i'm ready let's do it so we've got these excerpts from uh it's a pretty big text actually all about the impact of music on human life hmm interesting and it is seriously mind-blowing stuff i'm telling you by the time we're done here not only will you appreciate music even more but you'll understand like really get how it messes with your emotions your brain even your body the whole package the whole package ready to have your mind blown i think so hit me all right so first things first music isn't just like touching your soul or whatever it's actual biology happening oh yeah for sure i mean think about it when you hear a song you love you feel good right like physically better like a mood boost and that, my friend, is the dopamine hit, the pleasure chemical. <laughs> Music is a drug, man. It is. It is. But it's also so much more than just like a quick happy buzz, you know? What do you mean? Well, music helps us process all sorts of emotions, the good, the bad, the ugly, joy, sadness, grief, even anger. It's like... Like a therapy session. Almost. It gives us this safe space to actually feel those things work through them like an emotional workout okay that makes sense think about when you're like having a rough day and then your jam comes on boom instant mood lift exactly that's music going straight for your emotional state like a personalized pep talk but in melody form it's really amazing when you think about it and sometimes music just says things that like you can't put into words 100 percent. like yeah. how do you explain what a national anthem does to a crowd during I don't know, the Olympics or something. Yeah, even if you don't know the language, you feel the energy, the unity. It's powerful. Music just cuts through all that, connects us, you know, across languages, cultures, everything. It's a universal language. Yeah, a secret language of the soul almost. I like that. Okay, so we've got the feels covered. But hold on to your hats, folks, because music also makes you smarter. Oh, here comes the science part. Bring on the science. There are actual studies, real research, showing music improves attention span, helps with problem solving, even boosts verbal intelligence. So like listening to Mozart makes you a genius. Maybe, maybe not. But learning music, like playing an instrument, is definitely brain training, especially for kids. Helps yeah. with discipline, time management, all that good stuff. Yeah, setting them up for success, not just in music, but in life. Exactly. It's about training your brain to be awesome, period. And get this. It doesn't stop there. Music also has a crazy impact on your body. Oh, I've definitely felt that. Like when a good workout playlist comes on. Suddenly you can run another mile. Another five. Yeah. That fast tempo, it pumps you up, gives you that extra push, makes you feel less tired too. It's real. And it goes even deeper. Our source material mentions music therapy being used for some pretty serious stuff like stroke recovery, pain management. Wow. Yeah. There's a study mentioned where stroke patients who listen to music during rehab made way more progress with their motor skills. Music is medicine. That's the mind-body connection in action, folks. Yeah. And speaking of action, let's not forget the creativity boost music gives us, both listening and creating. Oh, absolutely. Whether you're jamming out to your favorite band or, you know, writing your own song, those creative juices are flowing. Right. Even if you're not, like a musician, musician, music can spark all sorts of creative thinking no matter what you do. And this whole music is powerful thing, this isn't new, right? Nope. Been going on forever. It's woven into the fabric of every culture throughout history. Think about protest songs. The civil rights movement, for example. Music unified people, gave a voice to those who weren't being heard. Music as a force for change. It's powerful stuff. And it's not just about entertainment. It reflects who we are, where we've been. Makes you think, huh? It does, it does. And that brings us to music therapy. We touched on it earlier, but it's worth diving a little deeper. It's not just about feeling good. It's an actual therapeutic tool. Yeah, for real. The text talks about how music helps dementia patients, you know? Familiar songs can bring back memories, improve their quality of life. It's amazing how deeply music is tied to our memories, emotions, our whole sense of self. It's pretty mind-blowing when you stop and think about it. Totally. From our emotions to our brains to our bodies, music is a powerhouse. So now that we've had this little deep dive, what are you going to listen to differently? Maybe even create something. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling inspired. Yeah. This is just the beginning, folks. Go explore the power of music. Go make some noise. See you next time. Bye!